Now, Cardiff University has released a study on ice ages, and it claims that icebergs melting in the Antarctic may actually trigger a reaction that plunges the Earth into an ice age. But I thought alarmists were telling us that our approach to climate was leading us into believing we're the direct cause of global warming and we're all going to boil. Well, here to set the record straight is geologist and earth scientist Ian Plymer. Ian, it's wonderful to have you on the, on the show and welcome back to Sky News. Before I get into this, this malarkey about the climate change wars and who's right, I want to ask you how you are. You've been fighting the biggest battle of your life over the last 12 or so months and uh, how you're coming out the other side. Well, I'm upright, I'm biped, I'm alive. Uh, I've been battling cancer for most of last year and um, it never goes away, but we've got it under control and it's a very interesting experience to go through. You know who your friends are and I, my Sky friends contacted me quite often. You were one of them. Rita Panahi, uh, Rowan Dean, Andrew Bolt, all checking in to see that I'm still alive and still fighting and still going to cause trouble. So. It is an interesting and sobering experience to have, and um, I'll have to have maintenance all of my life, but that's the same with any machine. You've got to maintain it and give it a grease and oil every now and then. And Ian, you are a machine. I tell you, you've dismantled so much of the alarmist rhetoric in respect to, to uh, climate change and all the nonsense. Your books are legendary for exposing the hypocrisy of them, and so we need you... Uh, up and willing to fight, uh, keep going. But let's go to to this latest study. It reminded me of, I think, a 1971 Time magazine cover warning of a a global ice age was was impending and we were all going to be destroyed by an ice age. Then we were told we we're going to cook and now we're saying the ice age is coming again. What's going on? Well, what's going on are cycles. It's normal to have cycles of climate. We are getting towards the end of a warm period. The peak of the warmth was about 5,000 years ago and we are heading for the next inevitable ice age. Now, I know it will be on a Tuesday. I just can't tell you which Tuesday. But uh, climates are cyclical. And just because you live on planet Earth doesn't mean that you are controlling major planetary systems. For you to think that you can actually control what's happening on the planet means you to have an ego incommensurate with your knowledge. But Ian, we've, you're a geologist. You, you deal in timelines that are far greater and longer than the Bureau of Meteorology. Uh, the temperatures that we've had in recent years, are they unprecedented in history or are they normal? Are carbon dioxide concentrations <laughs> higher or lower than they have been? We've had six major ice ages during which we've had glaciations and that's when the ice expands and uh, warmer periods when the ice retreats. All of that happened before humans were on planet Earth and every single major ice age started when we had more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere than now. To use the word unprecedented shows that you've expunged history and geology from your knowledge and to use the word it's climate emergency indicates that you have absolutely no knowledge about the past. You can talk about things being in unprecedented or an emergency if you totally get rid of the past. And by having at least 40 years of dumbing down our education system and having people now not taught to be critical and analytical in their thinking, not taught history, not taught uh, planetary history, you can get away with anything. And that's what the climate alarmists are doing. And the uh, Bureau of Meteorology is doing exactly that by using words like unprecedented. You've only got to go to their own records to show that they're telling porky pies. Um, well, why, why wouldn't we be surprised that as the education system has been dumbing down uh, the, the teaching of classical uh, studies and sciences, they're also hijacking the language, as you rightly point out, that unprecedented means it hasn't happened in the last 20 years instead of... It hasn't happened in the last five or six thousand. But for those of us who, who understand this and have been following it for a long time, it all seems very clear. But what about the people who are saying, starting to question the link between humans and global warming? What are the claims and are they right or are they just merely overcooking it? 
No one has ever shown that human emissions of carbon dioxide drive global warming. If you think it has been shown, please give me the five scientific papers that show this. That question has never been answered. Show me that human emissions drive global warming. So we have started with a, premises, which, a premise which is demonstrably wrong. It's also not helped by people having very little outdoor experience. We've had an exodus of people from country areas into cities. They live in apartments. They live in air conditioning. Um, they live their life off a screen. They don't experience drought. They don't experience rainfall. They don't experience dust storms. So we have a city-based population that doesn't read the scientific literature, that has had no life experience, and now telling us the chicken little story that the sky's falling in. Well, I'm sorry, folks, there is a very, very large amount of scientific evidence out there that show that we live in exceptionally boring times and we're just having cycles of climate come and go. Most of them are driven by that great ball of heat in the sky called the sun. And for some odd reason, that ball of heat controls temperature on the earth. You heard it here first.